Oh, something's gone horribly wrong with these cows. Something has gone horribly wrong with the cows. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, either that or you're having a very intimate cow moment, and I don't want to know. We're just going to look away. Just going to look away. Let's do some more training. Um, what? Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. Welcome to the Farm Manager 2018 Grow Nothing Million Dollar Challenge. Goodness, that's a little bit wordy, isn't it? What do we mean by that? Well, here's the plan. And first of all, I have to start this entire challenge by thanking Penge at the Geek Cupboard for gifting this game to me. Uh, very lovely. Sent along a key to this and said, here, play Farm Manager 2018. I've played a ton of it. And indeed he has. I've watched all of it. And I continue to watch all of it as he continues to make it. So I am no stranger to Farm Manager 2018. I've watched Penge's entire playthrough of it. And of course, a link to his channel down below if you are not watching the geek covered please go and do that immediately well i say immediately ideally after you've watched this that would be the the perfect world scenario there but yes please go and check out the geek covered he's in wonderful friend of the channel and a good friend to me personally so please go and check him out but he gifted me farm manager 2018 and i said to myself well that's great but you've pretty much done it all there's nothing for me to do with Farm Manager 2018 that you haven't already done. You've built an enormous farm and been very successful. So I thought, well, we have to obviously do some kind of challenge run then. I have to make this a little weird and a little frantic and a little challenging and a little harder than Penge did it. So I was tossing around ideas and I came up with, well, we've got a farm. What if we grow nothing at all? What if we have no crops? in any way, shape, or form. Nothing to be grown in the ground. That is the primary focus of this challenge. So obviously to anyone familiar with Farm Manager 2018, that means we're basically going to be relying on animals. This will effectively be an animals only farm. And the million dollar challenge, I thought, well, if we can get to a million dollars in Farm Manager 2018, then I will consider this a success. If we can do nothing but animals, grow nothing in the ground at all, and get to a million dollars, we have done it. We have had a successful challenge here. So we're going to throw another little kink in the works here, another little spanner in the engine. We're going to start on free mode. And what I was looking at is the money amount. Now we're going to keep it on medium difficulty, but medium difficulty starts us at $750,000. Well, it's not that far away from a million. I mean, honestly, I could do $750,000 throw up some chicken coops and basically raise eggs and eventually I'd get to a million not not in not too shabby an amount of time so the further spanner in the works is we're going to knock our money way down to the, the lowest setting of 250,000 which is a little more of a challenge because just to build the farmer's home my home in this game is 80,000 so immediately we're going to, you know, be pretty broke. And hopefully that will be enough of a challenge for this to be interesting to folks. I hope it will be. I hope you're going to enjoy it. So the Farm Manager 2018 Grow Nothing Million Dollar Challenge. And we kind of start out somewhat broke, which is very wordy. So let's just play some Farm Manager, shall we? Okay, so we've got our map to play with here, and strangely, there's a lake in the middle of it. I've seen rivers in the game, but I don't ever recall seeing a lake, so that's going to be a little awkward to build around. That's going to shave down our buildable space in our initial tile here. That might be a minor hiccup to this, but let's, let's get the ball rolling with the most sensible thing, which is building my own house. So houses, yep, my farmer's house. There it is. And I'm going to actually tuck this guy. How far can we get to this lake? Pretty far, actually. We can kind of... We've got some riverfront property here, lakefront property, so that's not bad at all. I'm going to tuck the farmer's house way up here. Uh, I, I don't really need it for much of anything except research, so there's no real need to have access to it. And then, what is going to be my first move? Again, we're growing nothing. We're growing nothing at all. So in terms of buildings, no, not fields, in terms of buildings, let's see what our first best move is going to be. So we could go with some, well, let's, 
here's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with one cow shed. One cow shed. That's my initial move there. And I'm going to tuck this as, well, actually, no, I don't want to tuck this as close to the lake as I can. Because I want to be able to get roads around there. Again, having watched all of the Geek Cupboard's play of this, I'm not unfamiliar with the game. And I am going to be using a lot of little tips and tricks that, that he sort of discovered and I am going to completely steal. Um, one of which is building a double road, which is very, very handy. Whoa, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Go this way. Um, it allows vehicles to get back and forth a little bit easier so they don't basically get stuck on each other. So um, thanks, Penj. I'm totally stealing that idea. I really appreciate it. Uh, can you, you, do you want to squeeze down there? No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, well, squeeze down there then. Okay, so cow shed down, and then what's going to be another good move here? We're already down to 157,000. Okay, my house is down, and the government gave me 8,000 money just for doing that, which was terribly nice of them. I wish that worked in the real world, where I could just build a house, and the government would say, hey, have some money for this. Cowshed is coming along. In my initial test drive of this challenge, the very first thing that happened is all of my animals started starving to death because I forgot to factor in feeding them. So let's get some of that going if we can, and I'm trying to remind myself where that lives. Yeah, storage for silage. Um, can I tuck that up here? That would be a pretty decent place for that. If I could actually even snip that in there. Let me do this first. Let me get a road going here. I know I don't really so much need a road going to my own house, but I also feel this should look like, you know, somewhere where people really live. So let's pop that up there. And then back to buildings and production and storage for silage. Let's pop that guy in there. And then we should probably just get the manure place going now because we're going to generate it and not a small amount of it either. Let's get that going in there. And, of course, we're going to need somewhere for the workers to live. So, workers, no, you go away now. I don't want to see you no more. Uh, workers, houses, permanent. Yes. Um... There will be some things that are very helpful in this challenge. For instance, I'm not going to need to really hire any seasonal workers. Everyone will be here full time. So no reason to mess around with them. And I'm not going to be really buying any machines. There are no machines that I am aware of that will be necessary with animals. So that will help on the cost. But we're already down to 130000 Already done. We've just gotten started and we're pretty much flat broke. And what we need to do is get some training going on. We absolutely need to get some training going on. And I think I actually am going to have to learn things that I don't necessarily want to learn, but I'm going to need them for other things. So if I look at the larger production buildings, specifically the um, uh, slaughterhouse, the large slaughterhouse, um, well, it's only going to tell me I don't have enough money, but I know there are training requirements for that too that I'm just not aware of right at the moment because it's just saying, hey, you don't have enough money to build that. No, I totally hear that. I don't have enough money to build that. Let's get some basic training going. What would be decent for animals? What could we do with that? Uh, gives access to the wind farm building. I know that was kind of a bust in other plays that I've seen, but I may reinvestigate that. Uh, bet with a neighbor, prove you're the best farmer in the area. Breed two cows before the 28th of the 7th. Um, that's not completely inconceivable, actually. That may happen. So, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that bet on. Uh, workshop on warehouse management, production management. No, 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 no. Uh, no price of machines. That does mean nothing at all. Let's just take a real quick and easy one of strength of employees up by 10%. Uh, yeah, give me that one. It's inexpensive. It takes very little time, and it will help with the things. So... The next thing, and this is this is where we're going to start to take some hits, is feeding the animals that I, well, don't even have yet. But speaking of feeding the animals, no, I don't want to look at that. You go away now. Uh, speaking of animals and feeding them, I know I'm going to need some more things like silos because we're going to have a variety of animals. They're going to eat a variety of things. Can I actually... I tuck this over here. I would not be opposed to just this sort of being out of the way. Say there. Yeah, that seems like a good spot for that. 
Uh, again, in my test drive of this, my, my problem was the variety of food that animals eat and the fact that I have to buy it. I'm not um, growing it, so I'm going to have to buy it by myself. Let me just tick this along. I'd love for you guys to just get those buildings finished, and thank you. And we also did a government thing for having a house for permanent employees. So, super. Hire any employee before the 29th of the 7th. Oh, yeah, we can totally do that. That That's happening momentarily. Don't worry about that. But what we got to do is get some food in here. So, what is the allowed food for cows? Pretty much a lot of everything. Grass, silage, rye, wheat. We can feed them virtually anything. So let's get some food. Oh, you know what I'm going to need? Going to need a warehouse. It's all about the storage buildings. Yeah, and this small warehouse will do what? Seeds and plants, fruits and vegetables. Okay, dry goods. Yeah, little little bit of everything there. If I could tuck that right there that would not be the worst thing in the world need to get time ticking along because they're not going to let me order food until i actually have somewhere to put the food although while i'm saying that there are some things that i could be get going right now so if i wanted to buy say some silage yeah which should be pretty cheap yeah it's it's super super cheap oh i don't have enough appropriate warehouses already all right well what do you need me to build is it the storage silo because i've got a silage thing i've got a silage thing game you going to make me build the silo and the warehouse for all of this? You probably are. All right, the silo is built. Do you like that? No, not the machine market. Why would I want a machine? I don't want machines. So let's try silage again. Um, still don't have enough appropriate warehouses. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, let's just move things along again. I'm probably going to have to build another warehouse. Yeah, it was the variety of food and the number of places they need to be to store all that food. There's no one generic warehouse that can store all my animal food. And I need to get some food in before we actually get the cows because, um, you know, cows like to eat things. Cows are really big fans of that. Labor law training is done. Okay, good. And the warehouse is done. Okay, super. Uh, let's just pause that for a second. Now will you let me buy silage? Please, will you let me buy silage? No. Really? Really? Okay. What do you think that I need to buy to buy silage? Like, what storage facility do you think I need? Seeds and plants, hay and, hay and straw. Okay. Storage of grain. Okay. Storage of manure. Well, we've kind of covered that one. Grain again. All right. Well, it seems like the small warehouse does the same thing that the barn does. Hay and straw. Oh, it doesn't do hay and straw, though. Okay. All right, well, here's another 20 grand gone. Uh, where could we tuck you where you might do some good? Let's bring this road here. Let's do this. Bring you there. And bring you there. Thank you, Penge, for the double road trick. That. And then back to the warehouse thingamajiggy. Yeah, give me a barn, I guess. don't really want a barn, but give me a barn. I don't like those so close together. Yeah, space that out a little bit more. I, li I like my building games to look more organic. Leave a little free space, a little empty skin, if you will. And let's get time moving along so they actually build that. All right, well, the Ministry of Development wants me to build a barn. Funny thing about that Ministry of Development, we did that. Thanks for popping that up. That's 2000 I desperately needed. Yeah, we haven't done a darn thing yet, and we're already down to 103000 We spent $150,000, and we generated nothing. Nothing at all. Um, and I feel my issue with the silage is I don't actually have somebody working there, and that's why they were not going to let me buy silage. So let's do something stupid, like hire people before I actually have anything for them to do. You are decent with animals. You got three out of five in your animal skills. So, Leon, you're hired. I don't need a ton of people right now. Ooh, Ryan Barton, you're five out of five with animals. And that was another government grant for hiring an employee. Uh, Violet, you're two out of five with animals. And I'm not going to have a ton of extra money to throw around to be training you right now. Eliza, you are, you know, you're semi-decent with animals. Let's see, that's... Three, if I found one more that was like a four out of five or a five out of five, but I'm not. And I don't really need that many people right now anyway. So you guys, if you could just hustle on over here real, real quick, like anytime you'd like to show up. Are you here now? 
Yes, you are. Fantastic. Well, not you, because you're five out of five. I'm going to put you with the cows. Uh, Leon, you work with silage now. Have a nice day. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. All right. Now, 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 now. Barn, warehouse, silage thing, grain silo, all of that is rocking and rolling. So hopefully now I can actually buy some food for these animals. Yes. All right. They're going to, they're fine with me buying silage now. So let's get, um... I don't know, 5,000 silage. It's not that much money. And what else could we be buying them? What, what, what else do they want? Uh, grass, that's going to be nice and cheap. Uh, crops is also probably nice and cheap. Yeah, let's focus on grass and crops right at the moment. Something in, no, not machines. I don't want a machine. I want grass and silage. Eh, grass, there we go. This has got to be inexpensive. It's got to be inexpensive. So if I got 5,000 of that, oh yeah, that's next to nothing. That's fine. That's fine. And how about, uh, how about hay? No, no, no. Grass and crops. That was another good one. I could get them some apples for variety, but apples aren't inexpensive. How much is 5,000 of crops going to give me? Oh yeah. You know what? That's really, really cheap. Give me 10,000 of that. That's fine. That'll keep them going for a little bit. So they're going to deliver that. Now let's actually get some cows. I want you, Ryan, five out of five with the cows. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's set up the auto inseminator because uh, it's just a pain in the neck to have to call them manually. So absolutely, you are good to go. And now, now that we're, you know, like a game month in and we have almost no money left, let's actually get some animals on the property here. So I'm going to buy four for the moment. Yeah, four cows, please, because I'd like to be breeding them rather than buying them. And that's going to be better for me in the long run. Now, we've got one extra employee kicking around doing not much of anything at all. Why don't we, just for fun, throw down another animal building? Now, what are my options here? I could throw down another cow shed. That's only 10 grand. That's only 10 grand. However, I think we should mix it up a little bit. Pigsties are 12, sheep and goats 18. That is getting a little up there. How about we stick to something simple like chickens? Because what we're not going to be able to do is afford any production buildings right now. So we're not going to get a cheese factory and we're not going to get an animal slaughterhouse. So we're going to have to kind of coast on what we can generate directly from the animals. And that, that is going to be eggs. I mean, eggs are not any money, but at least it'll be steady money. They're going to come fairly frequently. And we can sell the chickens as we breed them, and they breed super fast. So, yeah, let's get a, let's spend 3500 on a chicken coop. Can I squeeze that right in there? Oh, perfect, perfect. You know what? I like that so much. We're putting down another one. That's how that's going to rock and roll. I like it so much. It, it's the chicken coop that was so nice. I've got to do it twice. There we go. Can I, and you will fit right there. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to need one more employee for that. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, hire anyone with decent animal skills. Oh, you have some semblance of beekeeping skills, but I don't need that. You have zero out of five animal skills, which is not something you really want to put on your resume. Oh, not so not so much with the animals here. Oh, you have four out of five beekeeping. We're going to come back to that. Wow, not so much with the animals. Oh, four out of five, Ruby Bell. Welcome to the team. Welcome. Welcome to the Wee Hours Farm, Ruby Bell. Four out of five animal handling. Yeah, you can come right on over. Oh, they're delivering our cows. Yay, cows. Hi, cows. One. Did you want to get the rest of them off the truck? Two. I know they're large. They probably take time to move. Okay, there we go. We've got cows. Hi, cows. Oh, cows are awesome. I do love how close you can get with this. It is... I, I, okay, that that cow's... Oh, something's gone horribly wrong with these cows. Something has gone horribly wrong with the cows. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, either that or you're having a very intimate cow moment, and I don't want to know. We're just going to look away. Just going to look away. Let's do some more training. Um, what else would be a good thing for us to be doing... Machine durability, that does basically nothing for us. Harvesting reduces bills by 2%. That's not the worst thing in the world. Strength of employees going up, that's good. Uh, again, back to wind farms, speed and strength regeneration. And rate of production, 
That's good. Storage capacity would not be the worst thing in the world. At all. It's not going to hurt us to have more storage, but... But, 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 but... I think we're just going to go with something real simple like reducing our bills. Because that's just money in our pocket. That's just money in our pocket. Oh, we're down to 78,000. Um, I may not have fully thought through this challenge with the poverty level thing. I was actually thinking of reducing it more, but the game won't let you. 250 is the minimum you need to get started on this game. Um, when I was test driving this challenge run, I did it at the 700,000. And I was actually like, you know, it's, it's actually not that much of a challenge. This is no problem. Yeah, the poverty row version of this challenge may be quite a bit more challenging. So, so that's going to happen. Now, what have we got going on? The cows are fine. Uh, chicken coops built yet? No. Why don't you hustle along and build the chicken coops? There's one down almost momentarily and two down almost momentarily. Okay, one and okay, two. Now, what do chickens eat? Um, wheat, lupa. Oh, yeah, you eat everything that the cows don't. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that one. Uh, let's say corn, sunflower, wheat, lupine. All right. Let's see what we can do with that. No, why do I keep going to machine market? It's, it's, I just keep doing that. Um, how about corn? What's that going for these days? Eh, eh, it's, it's not too bad. Um, give me, I don't know, uh, how much is 5,000 of that? Uh, more than I'd like it to be. They're not going to get that much corn. How about 3,000? That's that's a little more reasonable. And what else? What's what's lupine going for? I don't even know what you do with a lupine. Uh, oh, that's that's pricey. Oh, goodness, no. They're not getting any lupine. What else do you eat? Yeah, and please have the answer be anything but lupine. How about sunflower, rye, and oats? What what are those going for these days? Sunflowers? How How possibly expensive could sunflowers be? Oh, super expensive is the answer to that question. No, they're not getting any of that either. How about rye? All right, rye is slightly more reasonable. How about if we did uh, 3,000 of those? Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. And what are oats going for in the market these days? No, oats. Give me oats. Uh, yeah, please. Get, all right, please give me oats. Okay, that's temporarily glitched out. Let's do that one more time. Oats. Oats. Yes, oat. Thank you. Ooh. Oats are pretty darn pricey. Goodness, that's no good. Well, you know what, kids? Just survive on corn for right now. Uh, there's not much else I'm going to... Wheat? Wheat's got to be relatively inexpensive. And don't we already have some wheat? Now we have rye seed. What? Did I order rye seed instead of rye? I'm a dope. Well, we're not growing it. Guess I'll just sell it. Okay, so I need more rye. No, not the machine market. Rye. I apparently accidentally ordered rye seed instead of rye. Okay, do you want to just show me rye? There we go. Real rye. Like, actual rye. Not rye seed. Give me a... Yeah, give me that. And then wheat we were going to look at to... So, oh god, if I click on the machine, I'm just going to, is there some way to delete the machine market thing? I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, wheat, 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 wheat. How much is wheat? Wheat is super pricey. You can have a little bit of wheat. Oh goodness, it's super, super pricey. Okay. Now I should actually get some chickens. That'd be the next move. So, yeah, you, let's see, ruby, yeah, ruby, you can go in this one. I know I can auto-fill these, but I just kind of like to pick and choose. Just kind of like to pick and choose. And let's get a bunch of chickens. Now, they breed pretty quickly, so I'm not going to get... I'm not going to fill it with chickens, because we'll be able to breed them rather than buying them. Uh, let's make sure we get the auto-inseminator for that. Thank you. Auto-inseminator. That sounds wrong somehow. And let's get some chickens in here. That's a decent amount of chickens, and make sure that you also will be um, auto-inseminated. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Let me get my chickens in stock. I want to see what's going to happen with them. Yay, the chickens are here! Hello, chickens. You don't make much money, but 
you're regular, and that's why I like you. You're just a regular, regular, a little bit of money ticking up. Have we actually produced anything yet? That would be interesting to know. Uh, have we produced, say, any cow's milk? Yes, we have 120 of that. I'm quite sure we don't have any eggs yet, seeing as the chickens just landed there. But what's our, uh, you know, we may as well start selling something. First of all, what I should do is sell that rye seed. I may as well dump that. Yeah, just, um, I don't know why I bought it, but that's just a basic misclick. We may as well get rid of it and somewhat get our money back. And how about cow's milk? Yeah, what's, what's, uh, what's going to be my rate of return on this puppy? Uh, we are going to make a grand total of 474 money. There it is. That's the... That's, that's going to happen. Um, we're going to go broke long before we get to a million dollars. But I have high hopes. I have high hopes. I'm actually... this. I'm really looking forward to this. I think this will be a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you will think it's a lot of fun too. If you do, let me know in the comments. And if you don't, let me know in the comments. If you're like, oh dear God, we've seen far more of Farm Manager than we ever need to in our lives. Please don't ever play this again. That is an acceptable answer. But I hope your answer will also be, hey, this is pretty cool. Keep, please keep playing this and see if you can get to a million dollars by growing nothing at all. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.